Colby, I'm going to stop you there. Sorry. We are going to the launch right now. Let's take a live look. Vehicles pitching downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the Rumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. The Rumble just starting to reach us at launch control. How cool is this? Let's bring back former astronaut Jose Hernandez. Jose, tell me exactly what we're seeing right now. Well, what you're seeing is uh, you're seeing the the main booster provide the thrust of the power to get it up uh, into uh, space. Uh, and usually, at least for the space shuttles, it's at the two and a half minute mark where where the booster cuts off and uh, and and then the other engines uh, on the primary upper stage take over and keep taking it up into space. Uh, you know, you go from zero to 17,500 miles an hour in about eight and a half minutes. So. Wow. It's the best ride Disney can ever hope for. <laughs> I, I believe that. So we know this is the largest rocket ever built. It weighs more than 10 million pounds. It stands nearly 400 feet tall. You mentioned this was historic for so many reasons, one of them being the rocket is sustainable. Tell me more about that, Jose. Exactly. Uh, it's going to be completely reusable. Uh, you know, other versions of the Rocket Falcon 9 uh, you know, the the uh, part of the stages, the upper stages uh, were not reusable. The lower booster was uh, reusable, but this one is completely reusable. So it's going to severely reduce the cost of uh, getting access into space. And uh, that's a good thing because it creates healthy competition. Now, for our viewers just joining us, I want to tell them what they're looking at. SpaceX launched its Starship prototype into space. Now, this is unmanned, but they're hoping if this is successful, they can actually carry humans to the moon, to Mars. But, Jose, you said it's not just the liftoff that is making history here. It's also the landing. Why is that? Exactly, because uh, you're going to be landing the completely the uh, the whole rocket in two separate uh, pieces. Uh, the upper stage is going to land softly in the Indian Ocean, and uh, and the primary booster is going to come back and uh, and land in a launch pad that has this chopstick scissor like uh, contraption that sort of hugs it as it comes down and uh, and safely lands to be. Reuse. Is that what we're seeing now? Did the rocket just separate from the booster a moment ago? Yes, I think so. I think so, because it usually does it uh, between two and three minutes. And so so now it's going to be coming down. We're going to be looking at probably uh, two views, one of the primary uh, upper stage, uh, one of the primary stage and the other of the upper stage. This is and, so uh, cool. And, and landing in two different parts of the world. By yeah. The way. All right. This is amazing, Jose Hernandez. Thank you for witnessing history with me, my friend, along with You're Colby welcome. Hall. He's sitting next to me. Thank you. We did it together, Colby. And what a launch and so much more news ahead. Don't go anywhere. We're half past the hour on this Sunday morning with this cool shot of space. We will be right back. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.